you would have noticed that the position of your GoPros on your helmet has changed radically over the years from the Teletubby style on top which looked absolutely ridiculous and for the last couple of years I've had mine on the side of the helmet and that's now started to look ridiculous and nobody does it anymore and so many issues with that. What everybody's done is put them on the chin. You get a more central viewpoint to your filming. But with a, a shoey, however the problem with the shoey, lift up lid shoey is that uh, Neotech, is that where, where do you actually put it? Because this uh, lifting mechanism has to be got to. So you're stuck with putting it on the side again. And that's where these guys in New Zealand have come up, we hope, with an amazing product. They're called Moto Mounts and the link will be in there. And they 3D print a mount made for the Shoei Neotech, as you see there. A little simple instructions how to do it. Hey Norman, thanks for your support. Richard, I think it says Richard. Callum. So, only takes just over a week to come to you. Very reasonably priced, and even though you've got £10 odd for postage, you know, this, this looks as if it's the real deal, just for these helmets. So if you have a Neotech helmet, Uh, alcohol pad, a shorter GoPro part, and a made to fit motor mount. So let me just try it first. Actually, that's quite amazing. It'll, it'll only go in one place. Look, I've not glued it yet, but it. 3D printed just to go there and you can still get to this. So that is that is quite good isn't it? It's been designed like that. So what do we do? Well the instructions say using the alcohol pad provided clean the front area of your helmet where you intend on placing the mount. Remove any stickers now that you have found the perfect spot for your mount and you have cleaned the area, you are ready to peel off the protective red layer of the 3M tape. Heat up the 3M tape on the back with a heat gun or a hairdryer. Once it is warm, push the mount on the helmet, hold it for three minutes. The mount will now have adhered to your helmet. Please give the 3M tape 24 hours to bond. So simple because there's only one position it can fit in. So let me get the hairdryer. So the first thing to do is just to uh, try the, the pad. It's come all the way from New Zealand, halfway around the world, but it's still very wet. And clean the area where it's to go. Actually that's worked very well. I thought it might have dried out in the transit over, but it hasn't. Done very well. Now let me heat. Heat the 3M tape with my wife's hair dryer. Not to melt it, of course, be very careful just to warm it up. Hair dryer is probably better than a hot air gun because they're very hot, of course. You couldn't hold your hand there with a hot air gun. The hair dryer works. The 
perfectly well. Peel off the tape. There we go. And now I now position it. And the only position it can go on. So I thought that would be difficult and hold for three minutes. With pressure on for three minutes. I'm not going to hold you here for three minutes but I'm going to be three minutes pushing down. Well it's had its three minutes now. Look how neat that is. I don't put weight on it now for 24 hours till it bonds but uh, you can see how it works. It comes with this clamp there and a small a small screw there. But to be truthful, I find that still too close. Looking at it, I might use a variety of this. I've got the new GoPro 10 and that's got a long one there that I've had so that can fit on like that but I won't strain it now but what a wonderful little device so it's exactly in the front of me and with a few arms I can position it where I want and of course the GoPro 10 has the audio cable just to plug right in like that and then I can also plug in a power bank that I keep in my pocket so I don't have to change the batteries so there'll be more on that later this will be interesting to see how it actually works in practice